This thing right here is $319. So this is my cow tattoo. I've sold so many cow paintings in my lifetime that I've, I've been able to fund my, my other interests, my bread and butter. I've been doing it about 15 years. Um, my friend is a dyed in the wool classic New Yorker. Um, he was doing hot dog carts and ice cream carts since the 70s and um, also had an art store in New Jersey since that time. And he had the pretty odd idea of combining the two. This is decorative art, you know? This is like this, like this thing right here is $319, okay? That's insanely low price for an oil painting of that size. I had a painting approximately that size done custom and it cost $600 and that was like friend prices, you know? So like, for this it's volume. You know, you have to be able to take an idea and execute it quick enough so that you can let it fly at a price like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so if you want to exist in that market, that's, that's the thing, speed, volume. And uh, aside from that, you know, it's, it's kind of just knowing, knowing your worth and not getting insulted when people lowball the hell out of you. That would be my, my main tip. If you're, trying to, if you're trying to sell your own thing, develop an insanely thick skin. I would suggest not. I would suggest finding somebody who will sell it for you so they can not get offended on your behalf um, because, because people are gonna say wild things. And I think that if I was the artist, I would take it poorly. Um, <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. I think, I think that while being a skilled salesperson is a great skill to have and if you wanna develop it, cool, good for you, it'll serve you well. But I think the division of labor is a very good idea. And so then your, your biggest challenge is just finding somebody who's trustworthy and isn't gonna screw with your money.